Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Squad. And in this actual Noob to Master series video, it's not just gonna be a tutorial video. We are gonna do sort of like a UX prototyping surgery. It's one of a viewer's submission, and he's from Oz, from Australia. His name is Damien. He's basically saying, hey, look what I came up with watching your videos, as well as doing some sort of UX course working with uh, Francisco, who's his teacher. And he's just saying, hey, this was recommended by my teacher, and it was, you know, uh, helpful in developing his new UX prototyping skills, which is, you know, it's totally flattering. And I love to see that actually what we're doing, what I'm sharing, you know, with my team, my design team is useful for everyone else. So that's really good. I'm really, really flattered by that and really humbled by that. But today, let's dig deeper and see exactly what Damien came up with for this e commerce uh, telecom website for where you can let's say buy a new plan for your mobile device or buy a new mobile device, you know, Damien identified one specific scenario of getting a phone and specifically galaxy phone. So I'm going to try to get it in this prototype right off the bat, I can see that he included quite a few different bits. As you can see, he has nav and footer as separate pages. So he probably just added those like a components which he reduced across different prototypes. That's one way to do it. And as you can see, he assembled almost like a component by component, I wonder if he included it as a iframe inside. But as you can see, it also have a lot of different effects, scroll down option to down below to see exactly what options you could purchase, for example, new galaxy phone, it's very, very simple, very, you know, black and white wireframe. And then if you user test this immediately, you can then apply an outer layer, a shell of UI. And let's say if you're working with visual designer or product designer, you can work alongside uh, doing it. And as you can see, I for example, can get a plan. And I don't know if I'm following the, the flow, right, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Because you're gonna notice that there are a lot of different bits here. Let me just go back. As you can see, he gives free options for people. And if we go with a prepaid plan, I can select, let's say a plan. Or I can just go with a custom build, which seems like the scenario which is actually working in his prototype. He has a scroller to scroll different options. And as you can see, that's quite interesting because he basically stacked different carousels. So let's say you can select, let's say, Google Pixel, then select data. Interesting. Like maybe, you know, maybe a headline would have helped here to make it a bit more clear, but I like how you actually modularly select different bits. And let's say zero minutes, maybe 90 minutes, let's say. And then everything here updates. So I guess he used at least a little bit of global variables, I would presume. Also, I think he maybe he actually calculates. Oh, it's probably text fields which are pulling up a specific variable from that and then it sums up separately. But let's just imagine that this is exactly what I want. We also have a guiding wizard type of steps, which is pretty cool. Let's confirm and review. As you can see, we get our phone, we get everything explained as a user exactly what it was I can go back, or I can proceed with it. So let's just pay now and see exactly what it is. I can see that this bit got updated, we can actually review our purchase. So let me just hello at VA experience the infamous email you shouldn't spam. And let's say we are gonna select marketing options. These could have been checkboxes, just from usability perspective, but nevertheless, they actually work. And let's confirm it. Payment details. This is not going to be my actual card, by the way. Let's see. Let, let's say it's like that. Confirm payment. And let's see what happens next. As you can see, he also inserted loader. I wonder if it's a GIF. Actually can inspect and actually check it. It is a GIF. Yes, it is. So he replacing the image for some time, he probably added a waiting time and replaced an image immediately with that. He captured my name, meaning there was some sort of global variable in it. So whatever I inputted in that specific field got added here as well. And then I can either view the receipt online, which is a summary of my purchase. That's pretty cool. I can save I can go back. And that's the key flow of his, you know, purchase of actual telecom services and phone. That's really cool. Now, what I found really cool as well is that 
I tried to explore further exactly because this is kind of like his playground to implement different ideas. So for example, if I would go to a, a separate page, which is about iPhone and things of that nature, as you can see, he animated the headlines one by one. And as you can see, he also added that scroll down effect. So if you scroll down, he animates in different objects one by one. It's very simple, but very effective. And you can immediately gauge if your product, if your service is actually good enough for your users, you can walk them through this, these bits and get their input. You can at least validate it internally if your UX team ideate further, maybe give it to visual designers to pre fill, you know, different bits or do it yourself if you just want to validate the ideas immediately. But besides sharing this cool prototype, I also wanted to share with you an idea or maybe a way to practice your bits. What I learned from my own experience that if you want to make something cool like this, you need to find a problem. And I guess Damien find a problem where he wanted to prototype this bit, maybe for his studies, maybe whatever he's learning right now, maybe he actually wanted to do so for himself or answering some sort of business need. On that note, if you have your own prototypes, you want me to review to share with a community to share with other viewers to inspire them, uh, feel free to drop me a note, give a like subscribe to this channel. And on that note, I'll see you next time.